Today on Quick Tips with Caleb Thompson at Off-Road Addiction, we're talking about the latest fashion accessory for all off-roaders, winch dampeners. Let's do some work. Right, first off, make sure you give the cable dampener or winch dampener to your navigator. Today, my navigator's Mischief, the shot dog, and she's helping me with a perfect display. Second, we grab our Factor 55 Ultra Hook, because this is what we've got on the front of the vehicle. You may or may not have one. If you do, you are also in the winner's circle. Anyways, what we need to do is pull out some cable. Once we get our cable, Next, you come back to see your navigator, slacking off on the job again. Can't even hold the tools they were given. You come and help me set up. Let's go. Yeah, sit down. This is what all the cool kids wear. See? Like this. And then they're like, yeah, off road. Right, now here's one I prepared earlier. A trail gear soft shackle. And our tree trunk protector. What we do, nice and easy. That's now deemed live cable. Don't ever step over the top of it. It's a competition rule, but it's just a general rule in off-roading. Never ever step over a live cable because you'll end up like this. This is just what's going to happen. You're going to struggle. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Next, we need to get the cable dampener. Thanks, navigator. You can go do something else now. And then we put it over our rope like so. Pull it tight, pick it up. And as you should know, it has Velcro inside. It also has a pocket where you can carry your things. Now this goes back to it being a fashion accessory. They have actually designed this for you to wear so it's one less thing to carry. Put it over yourself, you put your shackles and whatnot in there, and then you walk to the tree to do your recovery. Now you put that down, make sure it's all stuck together. And then we go. Let me spool in some rope. Simple as that. Now, obviously, if you're by yourself, recoveries can get very dangerous and are very awkward. Normally, you go out with a navigator, so. What you would do is get your navigator to hook up and just as I've demonstrated you get him to hold the rope make sure he stands at least a meter back from the fear lead because you don't want to end up with an injury where you injure yourself in the fear lead. So you do that, you take up the rope with tension on it so it doesn't create a bird's nest inside the drum. Once we're all set up like this I'll now go down there and I'll explain to you how a winch dampener works and what it's designed for. Right now that we're all hooked up at the business end, remember this tip, always hook up so that it falls down. If you hook it the other way, it can do all sorts of crazy things. The Factor 55 Ultra Hook actually has finger holes and a thumb hole here, so you always remember to hook up. Anyways, moving on. What you wanna do as a general rule of thumb is put your winch dampener on within the first third of your cable. Generally, when rope breaks, and I have seen plenty of rope break, it breaks in the first meter or three point something feet for our friends in the United States. And so we try and get this here. And what the cable dampener is designed to do is if it breaks, it wants to take the cable down to the ground. And that stops the recoil from coming back through your windscreen and causing damage or just hitting one of the panels on your vehicle or a bystander, which we don't ever want to see. Generally, the equipment at this end won't fail unless you've got a cheap and nasty winch hook on there that is made out of inferior material, then it could possibly fail. If you're using a cheap tree trunk protector, generally they're pretty good, but, but you have to keep up the maintenance on it. If the fibers get worn, then it could break. But generally speaking, if your gear is in good condition, this end is normally quite safe. What we're trying to stop is the rest of it coming back into the vehicle or into an innocent bystander. So you put the cable dampener on and a lot of guys in competition you'll see they will cable tie it to their hook at this end. And that generally means that it's just going to take it to the ground if it breaks at this end. Now those guys are trying to do a lot of crazy different things and in general everyday wheeling you're probably not going to put your vehicle through the same forces as those guys do. So what we want to see you guys doing is using winch dampeners 
and sticking them out on the first third of the rope so that if you have an equipment failure it takes it to the ground and keeps everyone safe and gets everyone home because that is what we want at the end of the day we are not here to see stupid people do stupid things and harm others we want to see every single one of our wheeling family worldwide get home at the end of the day there is nothing worse than hearing about an injury or a death because of something that could have been prevented so please be safe and do the right thing when you're out in the trails thank you for watching this quick tip make sure you subscribe below and give us a thumbs up if you liked it if not give us a thumbs down let us know what you thought in the comments thanks guys